Today on Nation, we're talking about hacks. Window cleaning hacks more specifically, but if you are in the service industry at all, if you do brush washing, window cleaning, any type of service, all the way out to janitorial, this is gonna help you out. Hopefully you'll get something out of it, so stay tuned, WCR Nation. What's up everybody, Jersey here from WCR Window Cleaning Resource, windowcleaner.com, and you're here. What's up? Hey, thanks for uh, hanging out and checking us out. If you haven't heard of the podcast or watched it, or if you haven't shared it, go share it out now. But this is a service industry podcast focused on window cleaning and pressure washing, but any type of service business can uh, hopefully pick some things out uh, it's all business side. We don't usually tell you how to do any of the cleaning itself. So go back and listen. We have hundreds of episodes. Um, also, if you haven't ordered supplies through me, I'm telling you, asking you, begging you, order through me. Why not, right? If you need anything window cleaning or pressure washing, my number direct is 862-312-2026. It's 862 312 Two zero two six. Give me a call. Uh, yeah, that's my number. It's a cell phone. So call me or text me or be like all the other people who put everything in their cart. They shop. Maybe take a week or two. Make sure you're logged in so it saves. But they shoot me a text. Be like, yo, Jersey. Everything's in my cart, man. Put this order in. And very, very important. At the end of the show, I'm going to give you a code for 5% off, uh, which is awesome. And it ships your order for free. So hopefully you take advantage of that. But tell me what kind of brand name thing I can buy with the commission money I earn on your order. But it doesn't cost you anything extra to let me put it in. It's just like an awesome high five, hearty handshake of a nice thing to do. So let me know. I want to be a rep. Um, Another thing, I want to give a couple quick shout outs. Um, every week I've been slower and slower to getting the shout outs, so I apologize. But uh, if you want to comment, go to YouTube, search the video, comment down below, give us a thumbs up because, you know, that strokes my ego. But uh, I want to say what's up to Brad Hyatt, one of the original gangsters, the OG, uh, Mr. Kenny Fisher, what's going on, man? And Justin Monk from Monk SEO. Now, real quickly, not to go off on a tangent about him, but he is an incredibly awesome guy. What he does, with SEO work and website, building websites and all that is just awesome. He's super, super awesome. So check him out. Just search uh, Justin Monk, M-O-N-K on Facebook. You'll find him or Monk SEO, M-O-N-K. But anyway, not a plug for him. Just a super, super awesome guy who I genuinely, genuinely enjoy very, very much. Um, but today we're talking about window cleaning hacks. Now, this is more specifically to window cleaning, but if you're in the industry, hopefully you can use some of these because some of them are marketing, some of them are procedural, rural, procedural, that big word that I'm having problems saying right now. But either way, I'm going to give you 10 really, really good ones uh, and maybe a bonus if I remember to get back to the end because I didn't write it down on the bullet point. But uh, these are some of the tips and tricks. Now we're going to go through them a little bit fast, uh, a little bit faster than normal. Uh, just because we have so many of them, but there is uh, little bits to be taken out of any of them. Some of them you may know. Some of them you may be like, ah, I knew that. Some of them are super secret. Like my favorite things to do. I'm going to come up with another list. If you have more items, throw them down in the comments here on YouTube. I want to see all of them and compile a giant list so we can do an episode like this again. Uh, but these hacks, uh, tips and tricks this week, number 10 comes in at steel wool. Now, I know a lot of you use steel wool, a lot of you. I've used steel wool for years and years and years, but I, it sh surprises me. It surprises slash shocks. <laughs> so it makes me say surprises. It's surprising how many of you guys and girls out there are not using steel wool. Steel wool is phenomenal on Windows. Now, you have to get four zero 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 zero. It says it on the package. Get it from Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace, or, of course, Window Cleaning Resource. Now, on that, as long as you get a 4-0, it's not going to scratch glass, but you got to make sure that there's no discoloration. So if you ever see any type of, like, brown or rust or anything, throw it out. Man, this stuff is cheap. But I keep it on me at every single time I've ever done a window. It's been on my pouch, on my belt, every single time. 
Now, we talked about this before. We've talked about Steel Wool a few times. It's uh, an essential for sure, but it's also a hack because last time when we did it, people were like confused. They were like, what? Steel Wool on Windows? Yes. There you go. Number 10, Steel Wool. No, but by, by the way, keep in mind that Steel Wool is little fibers of steel, and if you don't put it in a special pocket, you'll get them in your speakers on your phone if your phone's ever in there. So there's magnets, so don't do that. It's a pain in the butt. But number ten, uh, nine, because I can't count, number nine this week is another one that is going to sound very obvious, but if you're not doing it, it will save you so much work, so much headaches, hassle. What it is is having walkie-talkies on a job site. Always, always having a radio on you and on the other person. If you're working in pairs of two, obviously, I don't even know why I'm saying this, but if you're by yourself, you're not going to use a walkie-talkie, right? But if you're with another person, use a walkie-talkie. And here's why. How many times have you forgotten something or needed something or you're trying to yell through the window or tap on something or show somebody or somebody's down at the bottom of the ladder and you're like, oh, wait, 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 don't go. And they get the other ladder and you tell them to go back. Have a radio on you. Now, you're not babbling the whole time. You're not like, oh, did you see the game yesterday? You're not doing that. But what's happening is if you ever need something, you can talk at a quiet level and communicate with the person outside. No one wants you in their house like, hey, you forgot the towel. Boom, boom, boom. Just It doesn't make any sense. The other thing is if you forget something in the truck or they're back in the truck or you can't see what window they're on and you're talking to the cut. You can communicate super, super easily. And with radios, buying a decent radio, right? They'll last you for a long, long time. But you can talk just like I'm talking right now. Hey, uh, could you grab me a couple more towels from the truck, please? And that's it. And that's it. It's super, super simple. But I'm telling you, it will save you so much time hassle. It makes you look more professional. And you can communicate better with the outside person. Even if both of you are on the inside or both of you are on the outside, maybe you're not on the same side of the house instead of walking all the way around. Or maybe you're doing gutters instead of yelling from the roof down to radios makes so much sense. You should have them. Every single employee should have them. I'm telling you, they should pair them up every morning, come back, throw them on a charger. That's what we do. Boom, 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 boom. Grab your radios. You sync them to whatever channel the heck you want. If there's three of you, all three of you are on the radio. It just makes sense. Try it. I'm telling you, it will save you a ton of time. The one thing that I don't like about radios, and I'll tell you, is that people tend to drop them in buckets of water, in bushes, in anywhere that they possibly can. I swear, I don't know how many radios we've actually gone through where um, it could have been prevented, but either way, other than that, do it. Uh, they don't have to be super fancy. If you can get the ones that go through walls easier, it's a little bit nicer, but any of them will work because you're so stinking close. If you're on a giant building site through a steel building, then you got to get special ones, but you're not. You're in a house, so any Motorola ones will work. Get them. They're, they're, they're super cheap. Get, get radios. And then tell me how much uh, you love them and how you wish you would have thought of it. And if you are using radios, tell me because I don't see ever anybody using radios. Let's turn on like big sites. Anyway, there you go, radios. Number eight in the window cleaning hacks is a water-fed hack, um, but it is an essential in my, in my opinion. Uh, it is, if you're doing water-fed, it's amazing, and there's different variances of it, but for me, it's the Hudson Never Pump. Now, the Hudson Never Pump is a four-gallon backpack sprayer, basically, that has a battery. You flick a switch and it goes, Wee! and the little pump pumps the water out so you never have to pump the thing up, right? The really nice thing is, is you cut the hose, which I want to say is like a quarter inch. It's got to be a quarter inch. You cut the hose right where the, the, the wand was. You put a splicer in or you get some easy connect so you can connect your water-fed pole and you are water-fed poling portably anywhere. Now, the downsides, you got to have pure water already. But what we do is we fill up, which we shouldn't because it's probably illegal. I think it's illegal. But anyway, 
is we have uh, blue containers, which are technically kerosene containers, but blue for us is water. It's we write water on them. But anyway, blue containers, uh, and they're five gallons a piece. We fill up at the shop in the morning as guys are getting ready. They're filling them up if they need them, and we carry them, throw them on the truck. Five gallons of pure water. You could fill that up four gallons at a time. And now you can do route. You can do tricky windows. You can have it on. So now you get to a job and you're like, oh man, I got to pull out a water fed, but just for like that dormer window up there, you pull a Hudson never uh, pump or an equivalent. And now you are cleaning. Now, Andy Gaffey, who I don't think watches the show very much, uh, but he is out in Colorado. He's got one. And I just saw the video of it yesterday who um, he's got a, egg style sprayer that connects to a five gallon bucket but super expensive the uh hudson never pump now we don't sell them but you're talking about 100 120 bucks something like that on amazon it's pretty 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 clever and we do that for storefronts too so if you're not running a fill and go uh water fed system where you have water always with you sometimes you need just a little bit and you don't want to set everything up that's where that is killer now we don't bring it on every job but I do have a couple storefronts that are these giant, it's this giant wall of windows and they're all two foot by two foot squares, commercial, all over. And it's like two stories tall on the front. Now I use water fed because otherwise that job would cost a billion, it would take us a, whole, a day, you know, it feels like, probably not a day, but it would take a long time where I can use a Hudson on there and run through, I run through 15, 14, 19 gallons of water, three containers in one, and I can do all of it. It's pretty awesome. Now, if you wanna regulate that, you can put on some fan jets or you can get a ball valve and turn that down a little bit so you can regulate the flow, but it is absolutely killer. The other thing is if you still have a unit valve with it, it works beautifully. And you're trying to conserve water because you're only running at four gallons a minute, but here's what it is. If you have a, a univalve in your pole, a univalve, by the way, is an inline on off, works like a big pen. You pull it, shuts it off, pull it, turn it back on. It's part of the, connects to the hose and you just pull the hose, right? But on a backpack sprayer, there's always a pressure switch, just like a regular 12 volt that you'd see. And that is designed that when it hits a certain pressure, it shuts off. And that's what that does. So you still got to talk to somebody, what? Boom, pull the thing, it shuts it, shuts it down. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Look at getting one. Hudson is the brand. It's called a Never Pump, I believe. It's yellow. It's great. We actually use it as carry. It's got backpack straps, uh, which you could, but with the battery and the water, it's heavy. But you could wear it as a backpack, and now you're like Ghostbuster just walking around the building, somebody filling it up while you're walking. Oof, that'd be good. But anyway, that's number eight in the window cleaning hacks uh, this week's episode. Uh, number seven for me is probably, probably should have been number one or close to, but I talked about it a lot. So I put it here at number seven, but it's plastic gift cards. Now, in your brain, you're like, okay, I don't accept gift card. No, listen, hear me out. So a plastic gift card is used just like a coupon. So what we do is we create a dollar value and we put on a plastic gift card and we don't get a magnet strip on the back because we're not swiping them. But I put a black strip so it looks like there is, right? I put a MasterCard or Visa logo, not really, but what I do is the MasterCard logo and uh, put my company name in the logo so it looks like the logo kind of, but it just has the overall appearance, right? And then I put some numbers on the front that are not raised. It's all just printed on a card. Uh, and it's $25. You can do 25, 50, whatever you want. Heck, 100. But what it is, is a plastic gift card for dollars. It's not percentage. Because percentage, you have to spend money to get money off. But in dollars, it's worth something, right? But on the back, I let them know that this is $25 towards a in and out cleaning. Or an exterior cleaning. Or a full cleaning is what I say and it's always more than $25 our minimum is $149 but it's clear as day written out kind of on the terms but what I do is I just hand those out to everybody all the time it's like a business card but if they have money to use they're going to use it now what does $25 cost me nothing 
you're really not losing anything. You're just not making as much as you may have. But I give them out every job when I'm done. I say, hey, here's a couple gift cards for you. You can only use one at a time, but give one to your friend or neighbor. And they're like, oh, wow, thank you. And guess what? They come back. They're plastic. They always look nice. I Lysol clean them and I put them back out into circulation. They're my business card. I hand them out to everybody. It gets people to buy your service. I'm telling you. Now, one other thing is if you look in your wallet or purse right now, I'm guaranteeing you're finding gift cards in there that you probably don't even know what values on them. You probably have gift cards in there that are under $5 left on them, but you still keep them. Because it's money, you're not throwing money away, man. But here's the thing with gift cards. Gift cards are so valuable to stores that every store has them. And the reason is, is because you forget them sometimes. You use them, they prompt you to come in, of course. They are going to prompt you to use the money and have to spend more money. Or on a gift card like that, you then, you know, if it's a $20 gift card, but you only use seven, then you got to keep the thing and eventually they run out or you lose them or whatever, right? So gift cards are super valuable. Using them this way is super, super, super valuable because you're giving away free money. That's how it appears and people love them. I'm telling you, I have customers who purposely ask for them because they know it's like free money. They know they're going to use me again and I give it to them and they have. I've seen them on people's fridges. I've talked to people out where I handed them a business card later and they still had it in their wallet. Um, I've had people who, um, you know, have it in their middle console in the car that they had to quick show me. I got your thing, Stella. We're good. They're super, super valuable. Plastic gift cards. Look into them. Uh, who every week somebody says, Oh, where'd you get them from? What'd you just search plastic gift cards? I know there's better deals out there. Uh, remember I'm not in the game anymore. So I haven't actually bought plastic gift cards for a few years. So things have changed, but once you buy them, you'll have them for so long. They just buy 500 of them and you'll have them for years and years and years. It's super valuable. Again, do that. Let me know how much you like it. But number six, is the window cling. Again, another super, super valuable um, addition. Here's how the window cling works. Now, if you're a resi guy or girl and you get a window cling with your logo, now it's not giant, it's little, like a, a oil change one. It's got your logo on there, date of service, suggested date of service. Something along those lines. Every time you do the windows, whoever's on the inside puts the little window cling in the kitchen window. Now, if there's not a window above the sink, put it somewhere that's pretty noticeable. Now, window clings are not obstructive. They come right off if somebody really has a problem. I've never had anybody complain ever in all of ever. But what it has is you write down with a felt tip pen the date that you were there. Suggested service, put three months. You know, the three month, write the actual date, not three months. The date. Right, six months, right? Whatever you want, but more frequent than they're already getting it done. You want at least six months, right? If you could have everybody in your uh, calendar do it in spring and fall, that would be killer. So put that on there. But then every time they look through the window, they're reminded of who did it. They remind, remember your name. They'll always remember your name because if somebody asks, they go, oh, oh, I think I know. Let me go check. They know where it is. I, I couldn't tell you probably... 80 plus percent of people have those still on the window when we go clean the next time. They just leave them up because they're not in the way. They're off to the bottom corner, just like on your windshield. And you feel as though you need them on there, just like the oil ones. None of you remove that oil thing out of your window, right? But you can see where you got it from last time. You can see where you're supposed to get it, what the date was you did get it. Super, super valuable. Uh, again, search online window clings, custom printed, find a good pricing on them. They are absolutely amazing absolutely epic uh use those those two right there are probably the most valuable ones on this list as far as making money even if they're probably known hacks but there you go uh number five is the painter's hook uh, a painter's hook is at lowe's home depot menards whatever you have in your area and a painter's hook is in the painting aisle and all it is is a stainless steel i believe hook and a little chain and a connector, like a, I don't know what it is, like a little carabiner, kind of. And all you do is you connect it to your bucket. And always on every bucket you ever have and everything you ever do, having one of those on will come in such, they're like a buck or two for one of these things. Super, super cheap. 
But if you're on a ladder and you're cleaning gutters, you can hook it to your ladder. You can hook it to the gutter. You can hook it to the strap. You can hook your bucket now everywhere instead of having this bucket fall all over that place. They're super, super, super valuable. What we do is in the truck, we hang our buckets when they're empty. If you have water or you're doing something, you could hang it if you need be. Um, they're just super, super valuable and it costs $2. Have them on every five gallon bucket that you possibly can. They do not work on rectangle buckets because obviously it's rectangle where the round ones, you know, the, the top handle is round and it sits nice and flush next to a plastic piece. But get a painter's hook. They're super, super valuable. That's, that's, a, that's a hack. You might not have known about that, man. Don't judge me. <laughs> Number four is a toothbrush. And I'm not talking about your breath stinking. You need a toothbrush. Any of that. I'm talking about a toothbrush for everything else. Sills for frames, for nooks and crannies and everything. I'm telling you, I have a toothbrush. It fits in my bucket on a belt. Super easy. You know where you keep the channels? Not the scrubber, not the big one, but the little channels. You know, you got like three of them usually or two of them. You just put it in one of those. It fits perfectly. The brushes stick up so I can grab it and pull it out. I use those on everything. Everything. You want to get in a sill. You want to get somewhere where you just can't get the, the towel or the... the always have a toothbrush they can get wet obviously they can be dry they can be used they don't scratch glass they don't scratch paint They're, it's so valuable to just throw a simple toothbrush i go to like flea markets in the summer and buy like you can buy like strips of like 10 or 12 of them you know they're all like t connected they're cheap toothbrushes that probably give you gum splinters if you use them but they're great on everything else they're great Having a toothbrush is super, super valuable, even when you kind of don't think it would be. Having it on you, like if I'm going into battle, I want to have everything I need, right? Get a toothbrush. That's how I think of it. Uh, but number three on the list of window cleaning hacks is the uh, Dawn in a floater. Now, every time you do a job, you have your rectangle bucket, right? If you're a high-rise guy, yeah, you probably already do this in your round bucket. But in a rectangle bucket in houses, always having Dawn in there. Now, just a floater bottle. That's the ones that measure or a squeeze bottle or something that can close up nice and tight, throw it in your bucket in the water. It does not leak. Well, as long as it doesn't leak, I should say. You're good. But what happens is when your water gets super gnarly, you're on a job, you're in the back of a house, and you just got some mud daubers or something, and your water's just trashed, Throw the water out real quick. Go to the hose. You got your Dawn. Squirt it in. Fill it back up and you're back up and running in fresh water. There's having it. You will use it so much more than when it's back on the truck. Because back on the truck, you're in the back of a house. You're like, ah, this would be fine. And now you're cleaning with mud water. Having that little floater bottle in your bucket all the time. It's out of your way. It's never in your way. But always having it, you always have fresh water. Always have fresh water. It's very, very convenient. So... Definitely do that. It's one of those things, too, that you don't really think about being amazing until you start doing it. Now, high-rise guys always keep everything in their bucket because they just have to have everything on them at all time. But most resi guys don't. If you do, tell me. But most resi guys don't do that. I love it, though. I love it. Anyway. All right. Uh, the number two on the list is one that... Again, I think everybody should know or could know. But again, another super valuable one is having a paint opener with you. Now, if you have pouches, which I think all of you probably carry a bucket on a belt and a pouch for like your wool, especially if you're carrying wool, I just throw it in there. I always have it with me. But for um, storms that are a little stuck, uh, for um, screen uh, screens, pulling screens out, you know, there's that fancy kind of plastic one that's a screen out tool a painter's um a paint opener you know a little paint key 50 cents made of metal and it works on all that stuff screens storms uh any type of thing where you can't just get your finger in i've even done it where um the latch is like tight against the thing and it was hard grab that painter's thing it's a little hook basically put it behind there pull it out super super valuable tool and it's 50 cents. Like, not that you're carrying all this heavy stuff. That weighs nothing. A toothbrush weighs nothing. Steel wool weighs nothing. This is all stuff that's going to make you super efficient and not add a ton of weight to anything. 
So use that. If you have other things you use a paint opener for, let me know. I've heard so many crazy things of people that use those and just have them on them. Uh, not to mention that the back works for a bottle opener. If you ever get tipped in beer, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, paint key, paint opener, whatever. 50 cents, you're in luck. And the number one window cleaning hack, uh, again, something that I think is normal, but I'm surprised how many people don't, is using spray foam for French windows. Okay. How you do this, you know what a French window is, right? It's where the frame comes out the front and the back and the little grid of windows. There you go. Now, using f uh, spray foam is the fastest way you can do that besides a water fit pole. And what you do is you just go I spray one spray in every one of the windows. I take my huck towel and I just buff that out. Done. Buff the next one out. Done. Buff the next one out. Done. Buff the If you're using a mop and a squeegee, you're adding so much more work. And then after you mop it and squeegee it, you're still chasing all the runners because there's so much frame to deal with. Right? So why not alleviate all that and run with spray foam? Spray foam is super valuable. Now, I wouldn't use it on every window. It doesn't take the place of water and your strip washer and everything else. But for something like that, super, super valuable. Keep spray foam. Now, Spray Away makes a foam, uh, which is just amazing stuff. It almost works like the, the dreaded W word, the Windex. Almost, where it evaporates itself. So the drying, after you dry it off, it just evaporates the rest of it. It comes out in a foam so you can exactly see where it's at. Um, you can go heavy if need be or go light. You can mist it. You can Spray foam is super, super valuable. We buy it by the case and every guy has it in their, uh, their uh, trunk. Uh, we talked about that also. So every one of our employees has a big trunk. It's a Tupperware thing. It's got everything that they need in it. Spray foam. Uh, if you're on a job, you need it, throw it in your belt and uh, always have it with you. Spray foams are super, super valuable. Like I said, it's not going to be water fed, but still super fast. So, and I told you I was going to give you an extra bonus one. And I kind of remembered in my head, I was going to put this on there. I was going to put two of them on there. I was going to put responsibility, which I talk about all the time. It's not even a hack. But it's amazing, amazing. If you want the link for a discount, shoot me a message. Um, Responsibid is my favorite software in the industry, in the entire industry by far. But the one I was going to put on there is Nice Job. Now, Nice Job is a review capturing machine. Now, if you've seen guys, you know Bobby Walker? So Bobby Walker, you've seen, he's like, oh man, I just got 50 reviews in the past two months. People are like, what? We did a nice job to prove the fact of this at the huge convention, now this is two years ago. And by the time the convention was done with nice job, we had hundreds of reviews. That's crazy. Do you know how re important reviews are? Do you know if you have a business and you are getting reviews, that shows credibility, that shows trust, that shows that people are using you and loving you, and nice job helps that. Now it's a software program, and yes, it costs money, but that program, you basically tell them who it is that you've done work for, and they're the ones that follow up. Hey, we'd love, we'd love your opinion. Just click here, it's a link, we can shoot you. And it reminds them, and if they don't do it in the first couple of days, hey, I just wanted to send you a reminder, if you could give us a, I'm telling you, you're going to rake in so many reviews by jumping on Nice Job. So many reviews. And review, uh, Nice Job does not affiliate the affiliate, affiliate this program. They do not have any connection. They do not even know I'm talking about them. It is just a super, 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 super good program. So check it out, Nice Job. Um, it, it, if it's a review monster. Nothing else like it. Uh, go and uh, get that. And I didn't put it on there because... I don't know. Sometimes you feel spammy with that stuff, but programs are absolutely amazing. I'm a huge proponent of getting in the 21st century. Uh, you remember a few years ago, it was the talk of the dinosaurs, right? The old window cleaner who just still using his leather holster and his, you know, ammonia water and just not getting with the times. You got to be with the times because all this innovation, 
we're lucky to have the innovation and this is just one of those things so go find your innovation but either way more importantly buy your supplies through me you've made it this far hang on a couple more seconds you're going to hear the uh code for this week but um if you haven't bought in supplies through me or you do and sometimes you don't order everything through me every time shoot me a text it takes you no longer it costs you no more i get credit for it i can heat my house with your kind purchases. If I had Sarah McLaughlin, I'd be playing it right now. But no, but seriously do. Uh, I see a lot of you guys uh, are awesome. I have so many loyal people who every single thing they buy with me, that's so great. I really, truly thank you. Big or little purchases, it all adds up. It's amazing. Um, and some of you uh, order some stuff and then they put in their own stuff. Don't worry. I can send it. anything I put in is just as fast as doing it yourself for shipment wise. Um, and again, it means the world to me. So I really, 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 really do appreciate it. And it makes you one of the elite, one of the cool kids, man. So do that. 862-312-2026. That's 862-312-2026. If you're working right now and you're listening to this, go ahead and just save the number in your phone as Jersey WCR. And now you have it. I'm your rep forever. You have a guy. Anyway, okay. Shameless plug done. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sharing it out. This week's code uh, is going to be um, spray foam. Yeah, sure. What the heck? If you tell me spray foam in your text, on your call, whatever, say everything's in my cart, spray foam. Tell me that and you will get the discount. Now, please don't forget to tell me that. Because once I put the order in, I can't go back and take the money off. So tell me first in your order. Hey, man, Jersey, what up? I love the podcast. I hate the podcast. Whatever. I got an order in my cart. You can go ahead and run that. And my address is the same. Or my address is 123. And the card ending in 1234. And spray foam is the code. You type me all that. I'm gonna, All I got to write back is like, dude, you're awesome. Thank you. I'll put it in now. And I'll run it. And we're all happy. And you get an email confirmation. Super awesome. Anyway, super plug this time. I'm sorry. Anyway, go do that. Spray foam's a code. Let me know. And until next week, go out there and be epic.